Hmm, it looks like there's something bad going on here. Smudger's like, listen, Dookie, who worries about a few spills? And Duke's like, we do here. And then Smudger laughs. <laughs> Anyways, press on the skip. What's going on, you guys? Andrew Bottle here, and welcome to Five Nights at Smudger's. Yes. Now, the first game of the series by Big Trevi. Now, um... You're probably wondering, why are you playing it on Andrew Bottle? Why are you playing it on a Mac? Well, I got this app called Wine Bottler, and I can play PC games on a Mac, which is awesome, because then I can because now I can make these videos forever. Yay! Alright, well, ugh, Smudger looks ugly in the picture, or not to offend with Trevor, but Smudger kind of looks scary in that. He doesn't even have a face, or he does, but it's deranged, but anyways, without further ado, let's see what this game has to offer for us. New game of hang on, I need to make sure my camera's focusing. Reopened. Help also needed. The Minnesota Railway has been reopened after being closed down and abandoned since 1947. New engines have been brought up, bought onto the railway, but there is one that had remained there after it closed. The little green engine was turned into a generator, but it hoped to be rebuilt into a full engine again. Since he was the only engine left, that was left there. We are now renamed the railway after him, Smudger's Railway. That's the Minnesota Railway back in the day with Duke, Stewart, and Falcon. We need a security guard to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. to watch the cameras for thieves. Are you the right person job? Five hundred dollars a week. If interested, call one eight eight Smudger's Railway. All right, let's see what this game has to offer us. Night one. Make sure my volume is up. All right, we're getting a phone call. Sweet. Let's check the cameras. Ah. Uh. Um, hello there. Welcome ah, it's Big Trevi, the phone guy. New the railway, which is now renamed to Smudges Railway. That's Scruffy. That's Cordius and Bertram. Your night shift will last from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. We have put a lot more cameras up now as we discovered some underground That's mines. That's Dumpton. And we built a new building for the new office. The previous office was only in the trailer home and had very limited that went down very quickly. We had a previous night guard who worked in there and kept running out of power until after his second night we haven't seen him since. He most likely just quit after being annoyed about the, the power. Cars. But ah, there's then, Smudger. We've had a lot more time to work on the power system. The and doors. now, we have a better working power supply. So allow me to explain how it works. First, we have set up two doors and hall lights in your office. The lights have unlimited <laughs> supply. <laughs> I get However, to touch his nose. only have a limited supply. Only closing these doors will cause their power to drain, whereas the old I see it. For the mine cameras right next to your office, which is cameras number 12, 13, and 14. On those cameras, what's my what's my clothes and open office. Some man. This is used because we found out there is a way under you for anyone to get in your office. So if you see anyone in there, simply close the mine off and it will stop them from getting in. But make sure you power the piston as well while doing so. As shutting off one of the mines uses the piston's power, the more mines that are shut off, the faster the piston will go down. And if the piston loses all of its power, you won't be able to shut the mines off for the rest of the night, which might leave you vulnerable to anyone trying to get <laughs> from there. But again, that's very unlikely, of course. But anyway, it touch his nose, makes me happy. In that certain area of the mine, there is a lot of wood and rubble about. So if anyone does try to get in that area, you'll probably hear like falling over or rocks crumbling or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you see anything, report it to me after your shift, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, mate. Sure thing, Big Trevi, I'll report to you. Now, anyways, let's see what this game has to offer. Oh, wait, I said that. Alright, so Proteus is the only one moving this night, so this should be easy. So I only need to check one hallway. This is funny. <laughs> I get to touch Smudger's nose. It makes me laugh. Or it makes me happy. <laughs> Smudger. Here's a bio about these guys. Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram were only in one episode in the TV series. And then Scruffy, well, he's been in a few episodes. So yeah, that's kind of a backstory behind them. If you want to know the backstory, just download the code or just watch one of the videos. 
I don't have to worry about the piston, I just have to worry about Proteus, since he's the only one active. Alright, let's check those cameras. Alright, 2 a.m. already, wow! Alright, flipping through the camera. Alright, well I only have to worry about checking, I only have to check the left door, because since Proteus is the only one active, I only have to deal with the left door right now. There's nothing quite like it! What the? Smudger? You're being... S it's just Smudger saying that. Good thing is I have unlimited power, but only a limited amount of door power. Alright, Proteus is not there yet, so that's good. <laughs> I get to touch Smudger's nose, it makes me happy. <laughs> I couldn't really touch Freddy's nose because I was playing on an iPad. That's Proteus mo moving. Aha! There's uh, there Proteus. There's Proteus at the entrance. Now, Proteus is a magical engine that the narrow gauge engines told a story about. And of course, he's only been one episode. He's, a, he's, a, he's the only engine that's fully yellow, of course. Now, this game is made by Big Trevi, of course. Alright, let's check. I don't know what that noise is. I mean, Proteus is the only one active, so I can't tell what that noise is. Hmm. Okay. Good thing I have a piece of paper next to me. I like how I get to touch Smudger's nose. <laughs> makes me laugh. Or, and it makes me happy, too. <laughs> I... Oh my god! Go Smudger! Phew, oh, that was Ghost Smudger. It scared me. It's almost like a Golden Freddy. You have to flip your camera up before you die. Oh, phew. That almost, that scared me. Aha! Hey there, Proteus. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Mm-hmm. Checking those cameras. I'm very happy that I get to download Windows games on my Mac because, um, you know, I got this thing called Wine Bottler. I mean, because cause this game is for Windows, but hey, I got it on a Mac because I got Wine Bottler. bottler. Which I'm very happy that I have because cause now I get to play PC games on this computer. Ah! Smudge! I mean, Proteus! Alright. If that red indicator means they're that still there, if they're green, if it's green, that means they're not they're not there anymore. Whoops, I just dropped my camera. Let me just make sure Proteus is not there if he is. Alright, he's still there. Alright, Proteus is still there. The right door, I don't have to worry about right now. I mean, they move very slow on the first night. Proteus moves slow on the first night. Oh, it's already, it's 4 a.m. already. There's nothing quite like it. That is scaring me. Why is... Is that a bug or no? Alright, good. Proteus is gone. And it's 5 a.m. already. I mean, he moves slow on this on the first night. But then as the week progresses, they get faster. <laughs> I think this is funny how you can touch his nose. <laughs> Makes me happy. Okay, let's put the camera up. Let me make sure Proteus is. Check what Proteus is. He's a magical narrow gauge engine, of course. I 
I guess the red indicator means that they're still there and the green means they're not. Let me just check the hallway. Wow, 5 a.m. Actually doing well on this first night. This is a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game, of course. And if you know, I actually subscribed to um, Big Trevi. He's the guy who made these games. I was very glad I got to subscribe to him. I'm very fortunate to. Hmm? I'm checking. All right, we beat night one. Huh, it's got a very nice piano tune. All right, your password for night two is 6448, which I'm going to write down. It's kind of like Sniper Assassin, but the Sniper Assassin games I played, the passwords were just words, not numbers. All right. Let's see what's next. Ooh, we got a cutscene. I know this scene. Duke tells a story. Then one day, his manager said to Smudger he would make a musical at last. Smudger stopped laughing then. And why? Because they turned him into a generator. He's still out there behind our shed. He'll never move again. But you were wrong, Duke. Smudger did move. Smudger will move. You may be right. You may be wrong, Duke. Nice cutscene. That almost sounds like the bite of A7. You better not. Oh, but Smudger is. Well, I'm actually going to end my video here. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe, and comment. That helps me out there on series. And thank you for watching. Bye.